choose to gradually build up speed so that you've got something in the tank for the final laps, particularly given it's a pursuit race. Come on, Ji Fei. Certainly looks as though he's slowed up significantly. Sam Kavanagh, on the other hand, doing very well. Now in, in second position. So we're over the halfway mark now. We're at the 2,500 metre mark. Sam Kavanagh maintaining that second position. Let's see whether he can pick up much speed and become a, a challenger to try and finish in for the medals this afternoon. Remembering, of course, that we still have another six riders to come after this heat. Sam Kavanagh now slipped into the lead of this competition. What a great ride from Sam Kavanagh. Double disc wheel combination. Beautiful fluid motion. His body is completely still. These bikes are so responsive. That's why you need to be still and solid. And now he's got Ji Fei in his sights. He'll be able to see him. This will give him a spurt with only two and a half laps to go. The crowd being very generous in their applause and praise for Kavanagh and for Ji Fei. So Ji Fei slipped further down. He's now in fourth position overall in the rankings and he won't want to go any further than that. Otherwise, he won't be turning up again this afternoon. So Kavanagh, what a great ride by him. And we're just about to come up to the, the final lap marker. Now you'll remember, I believe that the Spaniard passed this line at about 4.43. So 4.39, that's very promising. And look, it looks as though he's going to be out of catch, Ji Xiaofei. On this final lap. The problem, of course, being that you don't want to have to go out too wide to get around him. There we have it. 4.58.870. The fastest time of the day so far for this event. And it's enough to put him in the medal right off. So there's still another six riders to come. Including Jiri Jezik and Jody Kundi. So Ji Shao Fei, 507. A good effort, but I would have to think it's unlikely we'll see Ji Shao Fei back again this afternoon. He started extremely well, but unfortunately then didn't have the endurance to stay at that, that speed. He just had a beautiful start. He was going so quickly. In contrast, Sam Kavanagh, a little slower out the blocks, and his first couple of laps were slower. But the test of endurance comes in the latter half of the race and he really stamped his authority then. Sam Kavanagh saluting the crowd, thanking them for their support. And all the athletes, not just the, the home athletes, the Great Britain athletes, all athletes have said how much they've been loving the warm reception they've had here at London 2012, the great support they've had from the crowds here. I'm walking through Olympic Park this morning while well, the weather was a little average this morning, pretty chilly and overcast, of course. It doesn't matter when you're inside in the velodrome, but, gee, it's so busy. A Saturday here in London, and there were thousands of people pouring through the gates from a very early hour this morning. And so much excitement, everyone taking photos, a lot of children here with their parents and the atmosphere outside was just electric and inside the velodrome it's absolutely packed and people are here to see some great cycling. So next up we have Jiri Boska from the Czech Republic and he is racing against Diego German Duanes Gomez. So the Colombian in the white. The Czech rider in the blue. Oh. 
A little bit of a wobble there from Colombia's Duenas Gomez. Never mind, he's recovered slightly. And as I mentioned earlier, the, the start just not quite so critical in the individual pursuit because, of course, it is a test of endurance. And it's not like the time trial where it's all or nothing. And if you get a poor start, then you can pretty much kiss your race goodbye. This, if you can get a bit of a slow start, but still get up to speed relatively quickly, if you're training and endurance is in touch then you should be able to salvage the race and, and finish with a reasonable time so we're whipping through these heats this morning a very busy day of track cycling we will have a break after this and then we'll be back again at 2 o'clock but this morning, and we're a little, little behind schedule just because of those mechanical issues we had in the first event of the day, which, of course, was won by Kappus of the Great Britain side, Great Britain team, the home team, world record time in that B division time, time trial, or the kilo event. So we're about 10 or 15 minutes behind schedule. The Colombian is riding very well here. He's slipped himself into first position. So we saw him scoot up the rankings from fourth to first. So all of these riders are of C4 category. does mean that Ji Chao Fei from China will be looking on at his current standing and, and realising it's highly unlikely he'll be back this afternoon. So the Colombian rider maintaining a very strong ride here and in first position overall in the competition. So plenty of support here from the crowd and we see Duenos Gomez still maintaining that first position. But this is a very hot, fast heat because Bosca is now in second position overall. And of course, it's very, uh, very possible but, but that both of these riders could end up racing for a medal this afternoon. It doesn't matter what your individual result is against the other rider. It goes by time. We're getting the rankings through. It'll be the top four riders from the rounds this morning, the qualifying round that'll go through to this afternoon. So Busca having a great ride here, is in second position overall, but the Colombian continuing to dominate the 3,000 metre mark. So we'll know when there's one lap to go, uh, if the Colombian is able to lap, enter that final lap under four, 39, then he'll be in the hunt for finishing this heat at the top of the standings. So Boska on the screen there, having a great ride as well. Looks as though he's dropped back a little. He has dropped a little on uh, the Colombian, but certainly not in the overall standings. He's still managing to be in the hunt for a placing. Okay, final lap to go. What have we got? 4.32. He is seven seconds ahead of the next fastest rider heading into the final lap. And you can hear the crowd absolutely lifting Duenas Gomez as he comes around the final turn. And that is by far the quickest time we've seen today. 4.50.016 and 4.55.631.
Very impressive indeed. And they are going to be real contenders this afternoon. So previously, the next fastest time was Sam Kavanagh of 4.58. Duanas Gomez, 4.50. Four fifty point zero one six for Gomez. Four fifty five point six three one for Busca. A very fast heat. Still two heats to come. And this next one is going to be very interesting to watch. We've got the world record and Paralympic record holder, Jiri Jezek, riding in the next heat against Roberto Alcadi from Spain. So there we have it, the official standings, but this may all change in a matter of minutes because Cherry Jezek is next and then followed by that in the final heat for this particular competition this morning is Jody Kundi from Great Britain who will be out to make amends after an extraordinarily disappointing day yesterday for him on the track. So, we have Spanish rider in the red and yellow, and Jiri Jezek, who's going to be a very popular athlete here, is in the blue, riding for the Czech Republic. His world record is 440.889. His Paralympic record, set in Beijing in 2008, is 445.278. That world record has stood since November 2009, the 6th of November, was set in Manchester at the World Championships there. So this is Jerry Jezek's event. What can he achieve? He's third. It's a perhaps a sluggish start, but as we've seen, it simply does not matter. Already he's making up time. He's gotten himself into second position, and I tell you what, he may have in mind that he's going to overtake the Spaniard. Certainly, that's what he'll be aiming to do. Jerry Jezek, wow, he's just such a, uh, a decorated Paralympian. He's hugely successful on the track in Beijing. He also won gold in the kilometre time trial event in Sydney in 2000. He won gold in this event in, in 2000 in Sydney as well. Silver in Athens in 2004. Gold in Beijing, so the defending Paralympic champion. So Jiri Jezek. It's going to be 38 next month. Seem to have a lot of cyclists with October birthdays for whatever reason. Roberto Alcadi. In Beijing. Uh, he was the bronze medalist in the road time trial. And in Beijing, he was the silver medalist in this event. 
and the gold medalist in Athens in 2004. So the quality of this field is is extraordinary. Alcady, though, at this point is is well off the pace. Jiri Jezek stamping his authority. Look at him already looking to lap. We're not. We're just over the the halfway mark, and he looks as though he's going to lap the Spaniard. Looks so relaxed. It looks effortless. I can assure you it is not. <laughs> he's hurting. His legs are burning. But he's just going to reel in the Spaniard and eat him up. It's making it look all too easy. So he goes up. Outside the red individual pursuit line. No infringement. Jiri Jezek, wow, what a ride from him. But this is what the crowd's come here to see and see an absolute champion, the defending Paralympic champion in action. At the World Championships, he won this event in 2011. He won this event in 2009. And of course, has a host of Paralympic medals. He's won six track cycling Paralympic medals six and four road cycling Paralympic medals. He's a star in his home country. Started cycling at the age of 20 in Prague. Extraordinary. The crowd absolutely love to see this. So three and a half thousand metres to go uh, done and 500 metres to go. Look, we'll do Another lap, and then we'll be able to give you a good indication of how things are tracking and how far ahead he is of the current competition leader, who is Duanos Gomez from Colombia. So Jerry Jezek has absolutely smashed this out of the ballpark. He set a Paralympic record. 4.41.593. So the existing Paralympic record was 4.45.278. So that is unbelievable. Four seconds. We love Jiri. You can see them in the stands and what a cool customer. He looked so good from start to finish, and the scoreboard says it all. The Spanish rider, Alcady, 4.51. So that was a very fast heat indeed. So basically now we've got two riders to come. So heat seven is the final heat. The Spanish rider is in third position and he will be hoping and hoping that he will still be in the mix this afternoon to ride off for a medal. But with Jodie Cundy to come and we've got Carol Edward Novak from Romania. Well, that was <laughs> extraordinary. Just to give you an idea, that was only one second outside his world record that he set in 2009. So, Thierry Jezek is in form and riding fast and the crowd absolutely loves it. What a sensational result already. So, Thierry Jezek currently ranked number one in this competition. However, Carol Edward Novak is the reigning world champion in this event. And we've got Jodie Cundy. So Jodie Cundy, desperate to make amends for what happened yesterday. 
Hopefully that's not playing on his mind too much. He did apologise for his outburst and unsavoury language that he used. But today, it's a new day, a new race and a new opportunity. And of course the start, just not quite as, as crucial in this race. It's more how you finish in the 4,000 metres event. So Jodie Cundy looking good early. Got away to a lovely start. Novak's in fifth position. The crowd absolutely loves this though. Jodie Cundy, wow, one lap in and he's in first position. But what can he maintain? That is going to be the story here. Will he qualify the fastest? If he stays on this time, he's going to break another record. So Cundy, of course, a decorated swimmer at Paralympic level. An excellent time trialist and was expected to do to medal, if not win the gold medal in yesterday's time trial, but he got a DNF in the end. He won gold in that event in Beijing in 2008. But Jody Cundy now is racing in the 4,000 metres individual pursuit against Romania's Novak, who himself will be hoping to medal this afternoon. And the support here is extraordinary for Jodie Cundy. Can he use the crowd to spur him on to, well, break the record that's already been set here this morning? Wow, Novak is slipping up the rankings as well. So that's not great news for al Qaeda, the Spaniard, who's in third position overall and will be very much hoping that he can be in the hunt for a medal this afternoon, but he may actually be pushed out of the top four. So J.D. Cundy having no trouble maintaining his first position overall at this point. The crowd absolutely loves it and he'll really be using that energy. He's about half a second ahead of Novak at the moment. This is a fantastic heat to watch. Talk about having two of the very best riders dueling across, uh, across the, the track from each other. Not much in it at all between the two. It's a matter of hundredths of a second. It's going to be touch and go to see who races off for the gold this afternoon. Will it be Kundi? Will it be Novak? Will it be Jezek? And they've switched leads. So Novak now leading the competition, Kundi in second position. And Jerry Jezek will be watching on from the sidelines. Probably not wanting to look really, wondering what's gonna happen. Who will he be racing this afternoon? Will he be racing for the gold? Will he be racing for the bronze? Extraordinary scenes here with Novak just taking over from Kundi as the top. And at the moment, well, the way things are standing, the two will be racing again this afternoon for the gold. So 3,000 metre mark, Kundi has fallen off the pace. He has fallen off the pace. He got such a sensational start, but now he's slipped to third position. Novak's in first position. Jiri Jezek will be his, his competition if he manages to maintain this this afternoon, to, to go into the afternoon. Jody Kundi maintaining third position. So still in the hunt for a medal. And I can tell you these riders are in so much pain right now. Kundi maintaining third position, but Novak having the ride of his life. Looking so strong, so still, so efficient. One lap to go. That is incredible. 4.22 as he goes into the final lap. I tell you what, we'll be here for another record to fall if this, if he's able to maintain this. 
We're on world record pace. That is a world record. 4.43.15. Carol Edward Novak. A sensational performance. He's taken the energy from the home crowd and using it to his, used it to his advantage. The Romanian sets a world record, absolutely smashing the existing Paralympic record that was set just moments ago by a full second, more than a second. The existing world record set by Jiri Jezek was 4.48.89. This has gone 4.43.15, so half a second. And goodness me, what a showdown it is going to be this afternoon between Carol Edward Novak and Jiri Jezek. Jody Kundi there saluting to the crowd, so he is going to be riding off for the bronze medal against Duanis Gomez. So we'll have Romania plays the Czech Republic in the final this afternoon. Great Britain plays Colombia. Jody Kundi, he'd have to be happy with that. He will want a medal this afternoon. He's going to be desperate for a medal. And Novak, what a genuine smile. Well, now he has a world record to his name. So Jody Kundi was just half a second behind in the qualification behind Jiri Jezek. Now, Duanas Gomez qualified eight seconds behind Jody Kundi. So he's going to have his work cut out for him this afternoon. But what a fantastic result for the, for the Romanian. And the crowd, so appreciative and so generous here. So the official standings there as we have it, Romania and Czech Republic to ride off for the gold medal this afternoon, Novak and Jezek. That is going to be an extraordinary showdown. So Novak's just broken Jezek's existing world record and uh, Jody Kundi to ride off against Duanas Gomez from Colombia. Oh, what a fantastic morning of racing. We've had a lot of drama here at the track this morning. But uh, we do have a victory ceremony coming up. And then we have the men's individual C5 pursuit qualification due to start in eight minutes time. We may be running a little behind schedule after everything that's happened this morning with those mechanical issues. High fives all round. So guaranteed a medal.